Abortion is a hot topic, but the church's position on it is very clear. Under no circumstances does the church condone the practice of surgical or pharmaceutical abortions such as RU486 or the morning after pill. Abortion cannot be justified by appealing to convenience, hardships or a woman's right to choose. Here is what the church officially teaches in the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Human life must be respected and protected absolutely from the moment of conception. From the first moment of existence a human being must be recognised as having the rights of a person among which is the inviolable right of every innocent being to life. Scripture also indirectly attests to the personhood and humanity of the fetus in Jeremiah 1.5 when it says before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. The ancient tradition of forbidding abortions is expressed in the Didache, a first century writing of the apostles. And this is what he says. You shall not kill the embryo by abortion, and you shall not cause the newborn to perish. The reasoning and arguments of the pro-choice movement have been addressed numerous times by the church authorities, such as John Paul II in Evangelium Vitae, who are much more eloquent and adept than the author, and I will not reiterate them here other than to say that a woman's right to choose abortion is not moral or listen, because it interferes with and extinguishes the child's right to live. A child has a soul from the moment of conception and therefore is a person who has certain unalienable rights, the most fundamental of all, which is the right to life. In order to prevent Catholics from deceiving themselves and arguing that the Church's 2,000-year-old condemnation of abortion is only an opinion and not a doctrinal teaching of the faith, Pope John Paul II formally defined the condemnation of abortion in the encyclical Evangelium Vitae, and this is what he says. Therefore, by the authority which Christ conferred upon Peter and his successors, and in communion with the bishops, I declare that direct abortion, which is abortion willed as an end or as a means, always constitutes a grave moral disorder, since it is the killing, the deliberate killing, of an innocent human being. This doctrine is based upon the natural law and upon the written word of God and is transmitted by the church's tradition and taught by the ordinary and universal magisterium. So no circumstance, no purpose, no law whatsoever can ever make licit an act which is intrinsically illicit since it is contrary to the law of God which is written in every human heart, noble, by reason itself and proclaimed by the church. Thank you for watching and God bless you all.